Hello, welcome to FM Wonder Kids. My name is Reese, and in today's video, we're going to be showing you not only how to get real faces into your football manager game, but how to get them in there super fast and saving space as well, right? Now, these face packs are the best in the business, mark my words, right? They're called DF11 face packs, and Jeff over there has reached out to us to make a video to show you guys how to download the super fast version right now there's a free version and a paid version the paid version is going to cost you five euros the free version is of course free the super fast version is the paid version right it's going to be a tutorial video so the first thing you need to do is head on over to df11faces.com forward slash mega pack the link for this will be in the video description and it looks a little something like this there'll be over a hundred thousand faces in your finished download right and they'll come out looking a little something like this right i think they're perfect for me they're my favorite ones of all time once you scroll down on this site it will give you instructions right but obviously this is a video kind of tutorial so if you want to read it by all means read it if you want to watch the video by all means watch the video we're going to be focusing here on the right hand side so the paid version the five gigabytes version and for me, I, Jeff sent me a copy of this and it literally took 10 minutes, right, to download. Whereas this version here, the free version, 16 gigabyte version, it took like, the, I'm pretty sure it took me the whole day. I had to go out and go to work and then come back, right? So you do get what you pay for, right? You get the speed. It's got a little list of pros and cons here, right? The small file size, 5.5 gigabytes, right, is the pro. There's no additional software required, right? So as opposed to the free version, you don't have to download or use any torrents. Or torrent software and it saves ultimately on your disk space so once you've chosen which method you want to go for head on over to the link at the bottom of the screen here click past any unwanted adverts agree to those damn pesky cookies and you then get your option to reserve your download time slot now if you're using the free version feel free to skip ahead because this part won't be relevant for you first you need to pick a day and a three hour time slot when you want your file to be delivered Spoilers, I downloaded it on a super fast connection and it took about five minutes to download, right? But three hours is what the guys here recommend. Then you choose your drive download of preference. So Google Drive, High Drive or OneDrive. Fill in your email address, hit confirm, hand over some of your details and you will receive your confirmation email within a few minutes. That email will explain everything to you as well as the time slots, etc. And then you can move on to the installation process. So this part is basically applicable to both the paid and the free versions, right? The first thing you're going to need to do is create a temporary folder on your machine. I did it in my documents folder. It worked out pretty fine and just called it an untitled folder. Right click, create new folder, job done. Then you want to download your two parts, right? It comes in two parts, part one and part two. Get those downloaded and make sure they go into your newly created folder, right? That's quite important. Now you'll see that both files get delivered as a zip file. So that basically means that it's a whole load of data that's been compressed to be able to send it to you nice and quick. You'll need to unzip these, right? On PC, you can use programs like WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this for absolutely free. But on Mac, which I'm using, it gets a little bit trickier, right? You have to use this one specific unzipper. No other unzippers have worked, right? We've trialed this with quite a few of them, trust me, and they just don't work. You need to get this specific one, which I'll bring up on screen now, and we'll link this in the video description, so it's important for Mac users. It's called Keka, K-E-K-A, -E right? And you download it via the website here. I think if you go via the App Store, they might charge you, but this is absolutely free. This is the only one that works, right? Because we're having to unzip two files at once, and for some reason, Macs struggle with this. So if you are downloading via Mac, I've got you. I've got another big tip for you coming up as well. But once you're happy with the unzipping software that you're going to use, from then on, it's pretty simple, right? You simply right-click on the first zip file and unzip that file itself right they're both linked together so once you unzip the first one this program keka or the equivalent pc program that you're using like 7zip will unzip both of them which is pretty handy and works quite well now once that unzipping is complete you will find yourself with a folder just like this inside the new folder that you've created and all we need to do now is move that folder from where it is to the place where it needs to be within the Football Manager 2022 part of your computer. So that the game can then take that data and like give it to you as 
your new player faces, which is what you want. So the file paths for this folder are obviously slightly different on Mac and PC. Again, I'm using the Mac here, so I will walk you through the Mac version, but for Windows versions, it is documents slash sports interactive slash football manager 2022 or whichever version you're using slash graphics. Now this is important. If you haven't got a graphics folder already, in that file location, you need to create a new folder just like we did before, but name it graphics, right? And if you're not sure how to do that, it's pretty simple. Again, just right click, create new folder, and then right click and rename that folder graphics, G-R-A-P-H-I-C-S, simple. Now for Mac users, the file path is slightly different and I'll walk you through exactly how to find it because sometimes it's quite tricky to find. What you need to do is go to go, right up in the top corner of your Mac screen here, and then you'll see the drop down menu. Now you need to find library, right? And library can be quite tricky to find, it's a little bit hidden. What you need to do is hit the options button on your keypad, and you'll see once I hit my options button here, a hidden file called library will appear. There we are, library. That's option button held down, let go, and it disappears. Hold the options button again, and it reappears. This trips so many people up, right? So if you take anything away from this as a Mac user, let this be it, right? Drop me a thank you in the comments below. I always appreciate those. Okay, once we've clicked on library, the, we then need to find application support. That's that one there. Double click on that, and we scroll down to Sports Interactive, which is there. Once we double click on Sports Interactive, we then need Football Manager 2022. And then just as we explained for the PC version, we then need to find graphics. Again, if you haven't got a graphics folder, you right click and you create the new folder. And then you right click and you rename that folder graphics. I've got one because obviously I've gone through this process already to make sure it works. And then we've just got to move our folder. This is actually the folder. I'll put it screenshot above of what it looks like when you've got to move it and a quick tip for that is to go down to your finder in the bottom left hand corner if you're on a mac right click and open a new finder window then you can line them up together right and just simply drag your file that you want over to the file over to the file path that you need now one extra step i found that i needed to do com to complete this process was to delete the old mega packs the outdated ones that i had right so Go ahead and do that if you wish. And next, we need to load up Football Manager. Once Football Manager is loaded up, we need to go to Preferences, so this is very important. Head to your Preferences and scroll down until you find this section here, which has the three options. Use Catching to decrease page loading times, Reload Skin when confirming changes to Preferences, and Show Screen IDs in Title Bar. You want to have the first one unchecked, you want to have the second one checked, and you want to have the third one checked. Head on down to click confirm and or reset slash clear your cache using this button here. And click confirm and once you've gone through those steps, your face packs should be present, right? Now top tip, it's important once the files have been extracted slash unzipped, that you check how many files are in your unzipped folder, right? It should be 1,800, sorry, it should be 180 odd thousand faces there. Just right click and get info. If you're on the Mac, if you're on the PC, it'll be a slightly different um, operation to perform, but I'm sure it's relatively easy. If you haven't got the 180 plus thousand, it hasn't extracted properly, right? So you need to go back, try again, and work out why it hasn't worked, right? Again, drop me a comment down below or head on over to the DF11 help pages if you're still struggling after following all these steps. And that's it. You've got your new faces. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy them. For me, it really does like improve my football manager playing experience, having these faces. It's stupid, I know. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, hit like, and we'll see you soon. Peace.